to Mommy Monday. In this video, I wanted to talk about something that was highly requested, especially after about two weeks ago when Jonathan and I made the trip to the UK. We had to do some house hunting and we had some meetings to go to and we took our two babies. So we took Emilia, who is 20 months old, she was 19 months at the time, and then Eduardo, who was only like three weeks old, I think, at the time. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about my experience with traveling with two under two, and also my tips and tricks, because I learned a lot. That was the first time that I did it, and I definitely learned some things that I think I can share with you. Tip number one is to bring plenty of healthy snacks. So what I did was I filled a plastic bag, and I actually put this all in Emilia's little suitcase, of like grapes, raisins, some little Odie snacks, and also bananas. Any kind of fruit or regular healthy snacks that she has at home that won't spoil so easily. Like I didn't bring anything dairy, like I didn't bring any yogurt or anything like that. Just kind of fruit that would last the day. And that would ensure that number one, she was kept occupied at times. And then number two, she had something healthy to snack on if we hadn't eaten in a while. The other thing obviously that you have to remember is water. We kept forgetting to buy water water. Water is so important because they do get thirsty and even if you're not thirsty they might be thirsty so you have to kind of remember to keep up with the water. Tip number two is to travel as early in the day as possible or try and keep to their schedule or their routine with regards like nap times. So if you are trying to plan when to book your flight, try and book the flight like on their nap time or at their nap times because that way if they sleep on the flight or if they sleep in the car journey or wh however, whatever way you're traveling, it's not gonna disrupt the rest of their routine and the rest of their day. Tip number three is to plan ahead and buy food on the plane because you never know when the next pit stop will be. That was a huge mistake of ours. So on the first day we took a really early flight and we decided not to eat anything on the plane just because the babies were asleep and it didn't really make any sense. However, we did not know when our next pit stop would be and we kind of just, we didn't really plan ahead very well so we thought that we could just stop by services or something like that but it turns out we were in the middle of nowhere and there weren't really many good services around. We were also delayed with like the car and everything so it was just crazy and we didn't get to stop in a good place for breakfast and we ended up having to go to a McDonald's which I was so annoyed about because that's not really the best place to bring your kids for breakfast. Bring plenty of baby wipes, obviously, nappies, hand sanitizer, and a special cup or a bottle if your child has one. So Amelia has a special cup that she really likes to use, and I kind of tend to bring that when we're traveling just because it makes her feel more at home. Obviously, baby wipes is a big one. You never know when you're gonna need them, and hand sanitizer is a must because airports and train stations, bus stations, anything like that, they're dirty. If you have a toddler that walks or that is running around, I would say definitely invest in a harness and this is something that we didn't have for Amelia. We actually had kind of planned on having one but then when the time came to it um, we couldn't find one in time so we, we still have not got one yet but next time we travel we're definitely going to get our harness. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about just those harness things that you can put on your toddler and they have like a lead. And I know some people don't like them. I personally don't see any problem with them at all. I think it keeps your child like safe when you know they're running around and Amelia won't really sit in a stroller anymore. So when you're in a busy airport, that's definitely what you need. What you also might wanna do is pack a little suitcase or a backpack full of your kids' toys, books, puzzles if they're at that age and also their snacks. This will kind of make them feel like they're important and they have their own like little bag to carry. I did this with Amelia. I just um, packed everything into a little suitcase and she felt like she, you know, she was important and this was her suitcase and it was her duty to carry her toys and it also kept her distracted at times. I could just like unzip the suitcase and we had it on carry-on obviously and I would just whip out her toys or her books or whatever. You'll learn when you're traveling with a toddler or if you have a toddler anyway that the art of distraction is very, very useful because sometimes they just have meltdowns or tantrums or they just lose it for some reason and you just need to distract them. That's all you have to do. If you have an infant, which we did and we do, bringing a car seat is a really good idea. You're allowed to bring a car seat on the plane for an infant and it just keeps everything so much more comfortable. The baby can stay asleep for longer periods of time 
and that's what we did and we also rented a car so it was it was really handy just to take him in and out with his car seat and he's light enough that we could carry him if you have a small baby as well it's important to keep to some kind of a schedule with regards like feeding i mean when they're very small all they really do is eat sleep and poop anyway but if you try and stay on top of the feeds then they won't end up sleeping all day and then being awake all night um, that's really important it's something that we didn't really know with Amelia we used to think if she slept all day that was great but then she'd be awake all night so uh, you definitely don't want to let that happen all you have to do really with a teeny tiny baby is just like keep an eye on the clock keep an eye on the last time that you fed them and never let it go too long even though the baby might be asleep all the time because they're traveling and it's easy for them to fall asleep you do want to keep on top of their feeds. If you are renting a car or if you're traveling a long distance like that, then you might want to think about getting either an iPad or a DVD player for the back of the car. I personally think that for long journeys, it does come in really handy. Amelia really benefited from an iPad that we got because she could watch Peppa Pig and it just kept her occupied for those times when she got really bored and cranky. I think that if you're gonna use something like that, maybe do it as like a last resort or don't turn it on straight away when you get in the car because you do want to allow them to get a little bit bored. I mean, kids should kind of have to deal with that but for me it definitely helped for like the long journeys and when she was getting really fed up and antsy and just had had enough the last tip is something that i think i've talked about before but this applies to traveling whether you're traveling with two kids one kid one baby one toddler whatever is to try and keep the bedtime routine as similar as possible to when you're at home and that will ensure that they get a good night's sleep and that they actually do go to sleep because Staying in hotels or staying in you know hotel rooms where you're all together can be difficult especially if you're trying to put your baby to bed in the same room as you but if you try and keep the routine the same so like bath time story time you know lotion pajamas that kind of thing keep it all the same as you would at home then they are more likely to go down easier and that's definitely what happened with Amelia she's always been really good at going to sleep in hotel rooms in different scenarios and different like situations and I think it's because we keep that all the same so we just bathe both kids together we bathe them at the same time and we did like their PJs their lotion and the story and that was it um, and then Jonathan and I were actually working in the hotel room and we had just dimmed lights and she still went to bed Eduardo of course he sleeps all the time anyway so he was okay but um, I hope that those tips helped let me know if you are a mom or a dad and you want to share some tips of your own I would love to hear from you guys you can check out pictures on my blog and I will talk to you guys in my next one bye